Catherine Parentu. That's a nice start by Jesse Irvin. And even to your point, no, we're not playing mixed here, but let's reflect back last week in Salt Lake City against the Johnsons. She played on the left. Gig Tardio played on the right, so she was commanding from both sides of the court. Oh, that's a tough bounce off the tape. Catherine Parenta will accept it. Two strong tennis backgrounds, both sides. Former tennis pro Jesse Irvin and Michigan State product Catherine Parento. Cross court winner from Jesse Irvin. Just found it right there. Just so good on that cross court forehand. And you're going to see Jesse Irvin's going to hit a much flatter ball. And Parento's going to try and use some more spin uh, throughout this match. That's something to keep an eye on. She had the opening there. It looked like Parento was kind of guessing left, guessing backhand, but unable to get that one over the net. win percentage on the career of Catherine Parento. Point. Perfect dropper there. She's on the board. There's a bit of race for that number two spot between she and Leah Jansen. Even Brooke Buckner making a fight for it in the top three with points and a premium as far as the race goes. So. Well-constructed point by Catherine Parento. Just the depth, I believe, on the second to last shot from Parento. It caught the, right in the corner. So much topspin helped that ball drop down. Turn from CP down the line, forcing the mobility of Jesse Irvin. Two, three. Point. A nice misdirect there from Catherine Parento on the backhand. Parento just closes to the kitchen so well. One of the best females at doing so. One of the great movers yeah. on the singles court as well is Catherine Parento. Definitely has that gift along with Annalie Waters. Those two are such a dominant wrecking force in women's doubles. Deep on the serve though is Parento. Still just one loss as a partnership for Waters and Parento. Yeah, that one was early in the season in Austin, feels like years ago, <laughs> to Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrbacher.
clean strike from Catherine Parento inside out to the corner. Not much Jesse Irvin could do about that. 7-3 now for the world number two. had a uh, shorter return to work with there from Parento, just unable to take advantage. Catherine Parento will grab another, and Catherine Parento's done a really nice job of keeping her game at the top, too, with the growth she's experienced couple of years. Side out finish, and last year it was an audition between she and Anna Bright of who Annalie Waters would partner with. She solidified herself. There's her partner, Athena Trio. Big part of that. Congratulations, they got married not too long ago in Mexico. CP takes a game point at 10-3. Punch to the corner finish. Catherine Parento, Carvana PPA Tour, has made it to a venue like this. Really spectacular. And Catherine Parento up a game now on Jesse Irvin. A couple of veterans that have been around the game for so long. Faces so recognizable. And really responsible for doing the early building of the sport. A lot of credit due to both players. I think that's a great point, Michelle, just about the players who have been around the sport for a while. They weren't just playing, you know, those years ago. They were really responsible for, like you said, building the sport and being ambassadors for the sport. So grateful to have that great community on both the men's and women's side in the sport. I mean, they were pros before it was a full-time job where you could truly make a living doing this and found a way to make it all work and to survive to this point in the competition. It's not easy and just speaking to a lot of these pros, there, there is no easy round of 32 matchup anymore. I mean, especially in the cups and the slams, it just doesn't exist. And even in the qualifying rounds yeah. as well. I mean, some of those draws are, are so deep. I know we've had tournaments where there have been over 100 people in the men's singles qualifying draw. I mean, that is, and those are good players, not just, you know, well, my first pickleball tournament. No, right. this is, these are guys who are uh, qualies grinders. That's, uh, that, that's what they'll call themselves. Kate Fahey, speaking of which, started in the qualifiers in Kansas City, marched her way to a final there, settled for silver, and then turned around last weekend to get the gold, as we talked about in our opening matchup. So it seems like there's still more opportunities on the ladies' side to break through than, say, the men with the 100 people draw. Wow, that is so good from Catherine Parento, start to finish. You just see the athleticism and her ability to move laterally and cover the kitchen without falling into it, without uh, having her foot, you know, go into it. And we are seeing Parento go for her serves a little bit more than we're used to, and she has had some errors, but just trying to dial it in. that Jesse Irvin's been playing some singles lately. Wonder if it's anything to do with Major League Pickleball or just 
Sharpening her game in other areas. I'm sure the Major League Pickleball does have something to do with it. She's a member of the uh, Carolina Pickleball Club. General what? manager, our very own Dave Fleming. Wonder what he was saying after that mixed doubles performance by Jesse. Nice ground stroke to the corner for Jesse. You know what was most fun last weekend too was watching the joy of Jesse last weekend. I mean, it was truly looked like she was having fun as one of the more focused players. There's nothing wrong with having a more measured demeanor, but fun to see her in the scenes, including our great. Production crew. Side out. And the run will end there, but a great one for Jesse Irvin. Catherine Parento back to serve. We'll see what kind of strategy she and Athena were cooking. Formula to get to the kitchen first, but the drop volley was attainable for Jesse Irvin. She'll take back the serve. Six, four. Right out. The ball is deep for Jesse. Looks for clarification. She gets it immediately from Onisha Smith, and honestly, for the Ankle tweak that Jesse might have had. She's moving great. It's good to see that. Trying to tell if maybe she has some wrapping on that on one of her ankles, but looks like she's, like you said, moving well. Able to get to a lot of these balls. That was almost, almost really good from Jesse. Just she had a really deep backhand slice that she was able to follow in because she got a shorter response from Parento. Just kind of overcooked her approach shot after that, though. But I like the sequence that she's she's going for. Perfect play for Parento, two-point lead. Point by Jesse Irvin, just not going away. Wow. Last weekend, too, some new names in the mix, knocking out Leah Jansen, the 32 seed in Salt Lake City. Leah Jansen is about to close in on her entrance to the round of 16, it appears, but great to see the field getting deeper. That was Mariana Petrie's first tournament, yeah. right? First, first yep. ever pickleball ever. tournament. Just had a high-level tennis background, and that was it. Originally from Italy and Senna. No expectation. Might well just try this thing out. Just playing freely. 
you know, you'd, you'd love to see that. Winner of this one will face Zoe Wong, who is no easy feat. Point. Zoe Wong's actually, she's gotten back-to-back -back bronze medals in her yes. past two tournaments. And she's beaten Yuta Castillo twice uh, in two weeks as well. That's a really good wins for her, her Major League Pickleball teammate. And the match point closed by Catherine Parento, 11-3, 11-6. Two seed looking sharp here in Vegas. And what a performance so far for Catherine Parenta. We'll see her in action later on in Knicks.